Hello and welcome to the Irish Pagan School YouTube channel. This is one of the co-founders, Laura O'Brien, and we are here to just do a quick Irish language pronunciation guide, and I suppose Irish culture pronunciation guide as well, to Bridget. So Bridget, how to say her name. Of course, this is a saint here in Ireland, but also the older Tuatha Dé Danann goddess, Bridget, uh, who was daughter of the Dagda, and we are very fond of Bridget in this household, even though none of us are dedicated to her specifically. She definitely has a, a welcome place by our hearth due to her parental connection. So there is a lot of confusion, especially around Imolk, the festival of Bridget. And that would be on the first, usually around the first of February every year. And in Ireland, we have just made this a national holiday. It is our newest public holiday, which means that all four of our fire festivals are now national and public holidays. That is Imolg, Bialtana, Lunasa and Samhain. We have a bank holiday close to all of those as our national public holidays and of course other ones through the year as well. But this is a bit of a coup for us in our living tradition of modern Irish paganism. So anyway, we're going to go through just some quick slides, little quick explainer video, and please bear in mind that I'm not a professional linguist. I am not a native speaker in that I did not grow up in a Gaeltacht region. This is learned Irish through our culture, but it is pretty standard how we go about pronunciation of Bridget. And we're going to go through different spellings so that you're not confused. So um, if you can see the screen, that's great. If not, you can just listen to my voice. So Bridget here, we have B-R-I-G-I-D. That is probably the most common spelling that you will see. And we would always pronounce that Bridget. So it's kind of like a, a J for G sound. In Old Irish, there is now there is no definitive pronunciation of Old Irish. We have absolutely got scholarly and academic educated guesses, but um, Old Irish is a completely different language. And I do speak modern Irish, so my pronunciation of B or I father G, which is an old Irish word, would be Breek. OK, so there would be a hard G there. And in old Irish, the word actually does mean power, force, might, strength, vigor, virtue, authority. So all of those would have great connotations for the goddess that they are connected to as well. And then we have the spelling then B-R-I-G-H-I-D. And this would be bridge. And this is getting into a little bit more modern Irish where the, the shavu, the lanish and the h's uh, would soften the, the g's. And as that became standardized, then again, you can see it on the screen there, we have B-R-I father D. And the father is the accent on the I and that elongates the vowels. So we have the same pronunciation for both of those words. That would be breach. So when we see the GH, um, it does come on other letters as well, but we're just dealing with Bridget here. So when we see the GH together, the or the IGH more, uh, more specifically, that would lengthen out that. And again, that has just been standardized in the most modern versions of Irish as bridge, B or I father D. So you will often see, uh, that would be my most common pronunciation, bridge. Um, other people definitely use bridges and we tend to flip between those spellings, B or I G H I D or B or I G I D as our most common uh, references to this goddess. And then in, modern in in modern Irish culture the name has kind of uh, muted into a T rather than a D and I think that there's two pro there's two probable reasons for this again not a linguist right but what you see there on screen B or I G I T is actually 
um, an old manuscript reference. So that is a legit spelling that comes from, you know, way back. I think that was Sanus Cormac, I believe, uh, which would be like a ninth century glossary kind of encyclopedia slash dictionary describing uh, the meanings of words and terms. So Bridget is how I would still pronounce that. If you were going with the old Irish version of it, it could be Brigitte, Brigitte, but to a modern Irish ear, that just sounds wrong. And it sounds a little bit uh, pretentious, actually, when we hear people who don't actually speak old Irish or even modern Irish, and they're trying to go with an old Irish pronunciation that is not really relevant to our living traditions and our modern Irish culture. So I would still pronounce B-R-I-G-I-T. I would still pronounce it Bridget. And um, the second possibility for that T uh, within the modern naming tradition. So if somebody is called Bridget in Irish, sorry, in, in Irish culture now, in Ireland now, somebody has that as their given name, uh, you would often get a T on the end rather than a D. So I think that this is because when we pronounce our, in our Hiberno English, when we pronounce our D, sometimes it sounds a little bit like a T. So there is a kind of a, a T slash D softening on it, just in the, in the vernacular culture. That could be why it got flipped over to T, or it could be a memory, as I said, of the one of the original names, which would be B-R-I-G-I-T. So Bridget, uh, B-R-I-D-G-E-T, um, is a modern spelling, but there are so many variations on that um, when people are, be, are using it as, as a given name. And it is quite a common given name, and it would even be shortened then to Biddy or various, um, various other versions of it. So that's kind of the run through, and you won't really guess in, in Irish, Irish language, Irish culture, you won't really get um, much variation on those pronunciations as I've given them here in the video. They're pretty standard, even across. Now, of course, somebody from a different province is going to uh, correct me underneath, right? If you're not from Ireland, please don't, right? But um, it's pretty standard across all the dialects, as far as I know, okay? and um, you, you can pretty much bank on any of those uh, spellings and pronunciation combos being okay. And if you are pronouncing your bridges in any of these ways, it's going to be grand. Um, the one that I would avoid would be Brigitte or Brigitte, you know, Brigitte or Brigid, um, because it just sounds wrong to us in, uh, again, in our living tradition here. So there is a class at the Irish Pagan School, because of course there is so many classes over there, uh, taught by the wonderful Orla Costello, who is a priest of, of Bridges. Um, I don't know if she call herself a priest, but that's the work that she does. So uh, that's what I'm calling her. Um, it is a job description, a role, a function that she fulfills. But she's also a teacher. She's an EJA, um, uh, a teacher. She's an engineer, too. So she's pretty cool all around. Um, but she does work with the saint and the goddess, Bridget. So feel free to check out our introduction to Bridget over at the irishpaganschool.com. There's a link on screen, but I will also po post it below. So check out the description below. And uh, I'll put it in the comments, too. So, um, so it's there nice and handy for people. OK, so thank you for your time and your attention. And thank you for making the effort to learn how to say the name of this goddess. It is a respectful uh, way to devote some time, effort and energy if you want to learn more about the goddess Bridget, Bridge, however you're going to pronounce her name. Okay, it's longer full and I will see you in the next video.